Welcome back, everybody. It's time for the video. I'll just pop a top on this uh, single cut full stack. Greatest beer ever. Oh, yeah, that's good. All right, so today I got some stuff in the mail and I've been working on some things. First thing you'll notice is there's a cutting board here. I've got an arcade power supply on it um, with a filter um, input here with a power switch. Nice. Um, cable power cord going to it um, all the wires connected to this they're insulated I mean you could conceivably get your finger nail I can't even get my finger nail in there so um, the part that's exposed is here um, I'm gonna probably put some kind of cover over this and that runs over here to this nice little JAMA boards um, labeled port here rest in peace Tim Hensel and uh, got all the power going to this right now so right now it's just got power connected and the idea is I'm building myself kind of like a um, super gun, except for I'm not including the video on this. Um, I'm going to have video jack, and then I've got my cart, my video cart that's over there that I can use for video, or I can plug other things into it. So, um, But I'm not going to put it, I don't, at least right now, I'm not putting kind of video display on this, you know, super gun, as you call it. Um, I'm going to probably put a D-sub... VGA style connector on this as well as the tra traditional headers that you'd see like you plug into an arcade monitor. Uh, that's the other, that's the female end. Anyway, so yes, but I got some stuff in the mail today and I wanted to share it with you. So this is, um, this is a work in progress and uh, we'll start with the less interesting things first, I guess. Um, I got some here. These are just regular, you know, those little push button switches. And these are going to be the, you know, the start, select, uh, ABC buttons, etc. I got them in two colors, red and green. I figured player one would be green and, or player one would be red, player two would be green, just to kind of have some kind of keys to go with it. And this is what I'm mostly excited about right here. I got this in the mail. And I've been wanting one of these things for a while. And I picked up two of them. One's it's not here yet. And they're two different versions. But I think they're the same thing. Uh, Hoka CN Electric. At least this is from China. Let's take a look and see what we got here. It is a mini joystick. Check it out. And right now it's got a um, eight way, uh, four-way restrictor plate in it. Now this is, I wouldn't call this like an awesome because <laughs> the first thing is this restrictor plate really should be diamond shaped not like this um because you can't you, know, you can't rotate diagonals but the point of this is this is for testing purposes and actually this plate might be really good for that because you can isolate directions now it's supposed to be yep there's two other restrictor plates in here we've got a circular one and we've got a two-way restrictor plate and you'll see here it's got a bunch of it's got a bunch of micro switches in it and um, the idea here is I'm going to put this into a little control panel box for doing the testing um, that would be modular I'll probably 3d print a case for it uh, I'm gonna wait for the other one to come before I start uh, designing the case because who knows it might be a different layout I th it, they looked almost identical so this is kind of fun this is a fun little joystick actually um, I wouldn't say it's like a performance one but it's perfect for the purposes that I'm doing here. So got that. And then these are really interesting as well. These are also joysticks. Check these out. Uh, you can switch to 2X mode here. Okay. So look at this tiny little joystick. It's for like a navigation system. And, you know, I wouldn't use this obviously where there's a lot of repetitive motion, but this is pretty cool. And it has a push-in function too, just like a um, R3 or L3, you wanna say, in like a joystick. So yeah, it's pretty awesome. Um, I'm gonna try and figure out places where I can use these. I mean, I could use them on this, although I think it'd be a little bit, I think this is a better choice for what I'm doing here. I don't want a big joystick, but I don't want a microscopic one either. But these are really fun. So this, these all got off Amazon. And they're, they're on, like, Jane Co. and Mauser and stuff like that. But it was just the convenience of ordering it on Amazon is the reason I got it there. So you would, you know, you put this on a circuit board. 
and you would, it looks like it's surface mount. Yeah, it's totally surface mount. Um, and then you put a little, which is, isn't going to be very durable at all. Um, you definitely want some kind of support on it. Then you put a little nub on it, like a little joystick nub on it. So yeah, that's what I got there. And also I got a couple other things. Well, one other thing mainly. Um, I've got here three Noctua. Let's go back to the... These are the Noctua 40mm um, fans, and they're 5-volt. I don't know if I made the right choice in going 5-volt. With Arcade, you have both available to you. But uh, I'm going to be putting these into... I'm building a case for my Killer Instinct 2 board. Uh, considering that the Killer Instinct board... <laughs> look at that. That's awesome. Considering the Killer Instinct um, 2 board now goes for like $1,500 on, e on e eBay... I definitely want to protect it better, so I want to make a case for it, but that also means that I need to make sure that it stays cool in the case. So, yeah, they give you a lot of stuff with these. It's really nice. Bunch of adapters, your screws. What are these? I don't even know what those are. Oh, they're wire crimp them. You push, stick your wires in and then you press the button if you want to crimp them in. But, yeah, nice little 40 millimeter. 40 millimeter fan. I think I'm going to put one on the CPU and then I'm going to put one on the front of the case and one on the back of the case and have it blow through. Um, the one is going to be mounted right where the voltage regulator is on the board. Um, and then the other one will just be on the back somewhere. So yeah, that's what I got. This is really exciting. <laughs> so you never know what 40 millimeters really looks like. Even when you t use it, your calipers, you know, you just don't quite... I was like, I was worried they're going to be too big. They're certainly not too big. These are like just the right size for what we're doing. So, yeah, and I'm not worried about them using a lot of power either. So this will be nice. All right. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. I'm going to have some more videos. I'm working on more things. I've got another sign I'm designing. And uh, this is just like a little, hey, where I'm at, kind of like a, I guess you call it a mail call. I like to call them thank you posties because of Dean. Thank you, Dean. And, uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Have a good one.